Good morning, my name's Janet Killen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer on this Saturday. The Anglican Church of Newcastle ministers and worships on the unceded land of the Awabigal, Baripi, Darkan, Yung, Garigal, the Gawigal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging and pray that there will be true reconciliation, peace and healing for all our First Nations peoples. Saturday morning prayer begins on page 419 in the prayer book. This morning we will be reading from Psalms 11 and 12 and from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 15 to 27. Let us pray. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The appointed Psalms. Psalm 11, which begins on page 232, followed by Psalm 12. Psalm 11. In the Lord I have found my refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to the mountains? Look how the wicked made ready the bow, and notch their arrows upon the string, to shoot from the darkness at the true of heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy place. The Lord is enthroned in heaven. His eyes search out. His glance tries the children of Adam. He tries the righteous and the wicked, and those that delight in violence his soul abhors. He will rain down coals of fire and brimstone upon the wicked. A scorching wind shall be their cup to drink. For the Lord is righteous and loves righteous acts. The upright shall see his face. Psalm 12 Help, Lord, for there is not one godly person left. The faithful have vanished from among the children of Adam. Everyone tells lies to their neighbour. They flatter with their lips but speak from a double heart. If only the Lord would cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks so proudly. They say, by our tongues we shall prevail. Our lips are our servants. Who is Lord over us? Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the groaning of the needy, I will arise, says the Lord, and set them in safety from those that snarl after them. The words of the Lord are pure, as silver refined in a crucible, as gold that is seven times purified in the fire. You will surely guard us, O Lord, and shield us forever from this evil generation. Though the ungodly strut on every side, though the vilest Lord is over the children of Adam. Creator God, whose praise and power 
are proclaimed by the whole creation. Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning at verse 15. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing this so that they may be applied in my case. Indeed, I would rather die than that. No one will deprive me of my ground for boasting. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete? but only one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we are but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, A Song of Redemption Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Collect Father of all, who gave your only begotten Son to take upon himself the form of a servant and to be obedient even to death on a cross, give us the same mind that was in Christ Jesus, that sharing in his humility we may come to be with him in his glory, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Let us pray for the world and for the church. God of love, may we abide in your presence and so abide in your love as we freely receive your love. Let us freely share with others all that you have given to us. Father of all, we pray for your church. In the wider church, we pray for the Anglican Church of Aotoa, New Zealand and Polynesia, the Church of the Province of South East Asia. In the National Church, we pray for the Diocese of Ballarat. In the Newcastle Diocese, we pray and give thanks for Bishop Peter, Bishop Charlie and Bishop Sonia and pray for their families. We pray for the diocesan office staff. We pray too for the principal, the chaplain, the students, teachers and support staff and families of Manning Valley Anglican College. We pray for the Micah Ministries and all who worship in that parish. We pray for the mission to seafarers, for their chaplains and for seafarers around the world. We pray for the parish family of Newcastle St John's. We pray, Lord, that your church may be caring, loving and inclusive. We pray for the outreach of your church, that it may seek out the needy, the outcasts and the rejected, that love may be revealed in action. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We come with sorrow, Lord, praying for all who have been denied freedom or, or peace. We pray for those areas of the world caught up in war, thinking especially of the peoples of the Middle East, for the peoples of Ukraine and Russia, and for all your people, Lord, who are oppressed by leaders who do not have their people's concerns at their heart. We pray for places where communities have been destroyed either by conflict or natural disasters, where families have been divided or separated, for children who have lost contact with their parents. We pray for all who seek to heal all that divides humanity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we give thanks for Areas where people can exercise their talents, where people are free to think and to act without hindrance. We pray for all who are enriching our world with their gifts. We pray too for our families and friends and for those people we find especially difficult to love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all your people whose lives have been marred by their past, for lives destroyed by bad memories, hatred, guilt or resentment, for all who are weary of life, who are tired of serving others. We pray, Lord, for renewal, refreshment and restoration. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of life and love, we praise you for all who have borne fruit in your service, for all who have forwarded your kingdom, for all who have shared their love and goodness. We give thanks for our loved ones who have gone before us and pray for those who will die this day. We pray rest eternal grant unto them, good Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for praying with me this morning. May your weekend be a blessing to you and to others.